I'm not so easily put. I don't need your hand, not with your voice on tape. Yeah. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. Yeah, I'm there's the that. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things. And I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne. And you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. I know exactly who I'm talking to. I'm the man who throw you over this rail without a second thought, and my lawyers make this whole thing disappear before you hit the ground. Uh... <laughs> if that voicemail makes it to the papers or anywhere else, I don't like. I I'll didn't turn my think he'd say that. Lieutenant <laughs> of that fiasco down at the precinct, Gordon, and then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor it. Don't worry about me. You should watch your own back. I didn't think he'd say that. My bad. <laughs> Oops. Like, y'all done fucked up. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye, sir. Bye. <laughs> Literally is. <laughs> I wonder what else is on here. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Damn. Thanks, Alfred. It's locked down, literally. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Ah. Mm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hmm. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed. First by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. He is. And the city is, needs yeah. you now more than ever. I'll uh, leave you to it then. I wasn't kicking you out. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. All right. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Yeah, so it's kind of froze the cameras visitors. in a way. Like they got. I have to get down there now. Yeah. It's pretty cool how like Bruce was able to figure that out. And... <laughs> Harvey needs to get out of there. Oh, wow, numbers on there. You called. I needed to talk to you, actually. It's pretty cool. You get a Something's glance at this phone. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. It's not gonna they do it. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real... Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look, Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but my advisors are telling me that I need to, <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. 
Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very... I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone... Yeah. You're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. No matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. And I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? See, he's... Whatever it takes to save... It's not like he's got, like... That's what we wanted. Evil, evil intentions with it. He's just, he's just doing what's necessary. You, yeah. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. You know, he's... To Gotham. He's not being a total sorry, dick. Bruce, the makeup person is here. No. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say. Nice to little me, um, reference. You are always my there. friend. <laughs> Harvey. Considering who he turned into. Nice. Wayne Memorial Auditorium. Basically, everything's a Wayne building, isn't it? Batman. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. Yep. I'm glad I took the a chance. Cameras have on been this, hacked. This collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. Yeah. Hero is a lofty title. I hope I live up to it. Could be tonight's the night to prove it. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. And they've had the cameras. Oh. Okay. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? <laughs> We're all on the same side, Jim. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. You don't owe me anything. Those scum had it coming. And they say chivalry is dead. <laughs> None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Uh, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. Ah. Wouldn't they know that was Wayne Tech? We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Yeah, that kind of does. That's a good point. Good evening, everyone. It's amazing that people never really notice that that's Wayne Tech going by there. <laughs> that's probably the most open he's been with his drug. <laughs> Makes you wonder why Bruce never went for Bear himself, but I guess that would have been too easy. And he's already got everything, so he probably he probably wouldn't even be allowed. Now that I think about it. Hey, sir. Hey, nerds. <laughs> what is it with the face? Yep. At that least happened. Know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, God damn oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Well, spit. First order of business. Firing the moderator. <laughs> 
I've always loved a penguin. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Um, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <laughs> You'll do. Get out of here. Can't promise that no one dies. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there? Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Convenient. Go on then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. You see what I? Penguin in the the real door is like an old dude. I don't know why he keeps trying because like Bruce could wipe the floor with him now. <laughs> Face to the table. Yeah, but yeah, in the in the Batman lore, Penguin really comes off as a weakling because he's like really old. <laughs> For some reason, it's like I don't really do anything. I just stand and gawk. <laughs> Well, Batman beats me up. It was like that in uh, Arkham City. He just stood there and all he had to do was run up and punch him in the face. It was like so easy to deal with. Eat stick sucker. Yeah, nice switch to the controls game. In the face. What is it with faces to tables in this game? Eat it. Oh my god, dude, that was so freaking brutal, in the face, that was so brutal, like smacked him right in the face, you should be dead, <laughs> he's dead, mega dead, hella dead. <laughs> He doesn't look too intimidating, does he? No, the penguin thing on his head. You have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade. Um. Expose the corruption that's ruined your city. Oh, okay. Men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Tonight, we show you the truth. This is spiraling out of control. They have no idea about the man behind the mask. Whoever it is, they're smart. Won't someone else get their hands dirty? Huh. Go on, love. You know what to do. You get stabbed. <laughs> you also get stabbed. <laughs> nice. Discount Batman Arkham Asylum. <laughs> nice nod to a popular game there. Huh. 
Roll the tape! Subject 9. Dad. I thought your father was dead. Subject 9. Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane. Oh. Definitely is a ward of the state. your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas. Damn. We're friends. We both pray together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. That's pretty much what uh they did with uh Jody's mom. In, uh, Beyond Your Souls. I wonder if, um... I wonder if, uh... Martha even know, knew about it, you know? I wonder how much she really knew. <laughs> oh, go Vicky, okay. Oh, spin. You miss, sucker. <laughs> wow. That doesn't do shit. Okay. You're in the tape, dude. I took out Thomas Wayne. That, 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 that was all him. He right. Didn't know to stop. So he did it. I had him killed because of it. Ah, right. That makes sense. That won't bring back my poor old mum. So this is for her. You How much you kill anyone else? Okay, yeah, dead. Right, your turn, Dent. <laughs> Get lit up. Bitch. Lay down. Oh, come on, he was going unconscious. Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter. And he didn't even turn up. Look at Dent trying to stand up for himself. Uh -huh. The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! Let Dent go! And what if I don't? I'll crush every bone in your body. Uh -huh. I knew you'd say something like that. <laughs> Get it up. Spit. Well, what do you think Batman would do? <laughs> I think it's really cool. I think I think this is a really cool choice, actually. You'll see why in a minute. This is a really cool choice. Let's watch. So they make a twist on how Two Face was uh, came about because I found out in uh, during uh, Arkham uh, City that in the real lore Harvey gets uh, attacked City by acid, and that's how Two Face becomes a thing. Well, several members of so the they've kind of Arkham changed his arrested. story a little the bit like still it's still like large. a drug or acid that kind of takes him but now the face is actually created by that so that's a very interesting choice because it, 
it gives you a new twist on how Two-Face came about. So it's a really cool choice. It kind of doesn't... I don't think he matters. I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen a playthrough Meanwhile, where Harvey the isn't Wayne picked there, but continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. I don't think it changes public. much. It's uh, it's only like because I think it turns out you, you know he was injected with something, so you know that now he's going to have like a alternate personality, as it was, as it were. So I think that's. That's probably how it works, I think. Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. See, I think, I think the fact that we are the children of that kind of is a choice that kind of doesn't make a lot of sense because. Selena could normally handle it herself. So I think she probably could have escaped from that no matter what, I'm not sure. But that's just a really cool twist on like a different story of how Two-Face came about. And that's why it's really cool. <laughs> yes, of course. 78% tried to kiss Selena, of course they did. 70% with uh, helping with the morphine. Oh, almost 50-50 on... Um, Going as Bruce Wayne or Batman, uh, but the uh, Bruce Wayne choice just uh, wins out. <laughs> Ninety-one percent continue to fund Harvey's campaign. Damn, no one was really interested in anything other than that. Sixty-two point one safe so, you know, That makes yeah, that makes sense. A lot of people did pick Harvey though, so I wonder if we could find a playthrough where Harvey gets picked and kind of see how that happened. Because I don't. I don't think I ever played this after the PS4 version, Next and I believe I picked Selena. Telltale series. So in that one, you may have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. Twenty signed the up for. The so children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. They don't recognize it's Oswald with his voice. The question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Hmm. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? Uh, yes. No more hiding, not for anyone. But don't worry, Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce, Bruce. Wherever comics and books are sold. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna point something out in the next episode. I believe it's when it happens, but you can easily tell that now Bruce is gonna be sort of ousted out from his own company, which. I'll bring that up later. But yeah, it was like, there is like the confirmation that, you know, everything is now true with Bruce's family um, in the in this storyline anyway. Um, but I think it's really cool how they kind of changed the arrival of Two-Face, because we all know that Harvey Dent's Two-Face. Uh, I didn't, I didn't at the time. I had no idea. Um, but I think it I think it was really cool how they kind of debuted an old an old villain and kind of gave him a different backstory. It's pretty darn cool how they managed to do that. And the same with like, Penguin as well. I, I don't know how Penguin officially rose to prominence. I'm gonna have to probably look at Arkham City again and look at his biography and see if I can find it. And I think that I think that thing in England is still a thing, like he goes to England or whatever. So I don't think there's much change in his story. You're only seeing him at a younger age, obviously. But 
it kind of it's kind of weird because Penguin is so young here and in the real lore Penguin is so old and by Penguin's age you think Bruce would have retired by then I mean I don't know how old they officially are but Penguin was kind of a weird one to me when I first heard about who he was I was like he seems old in the real Batman lore, but in this game he's like really young and it kind of makes no sense. It's like, how can they be both be so young and yet Penguin ages like 40 years in the real lore and Bruce still looks like 20 years younger than him. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a weird one, that one. Uh, but again, it's like they're given, it's what Telltale done. They've, they've found this blank canvas that the lore hasn't explored and made their own story based on it, you know, giving Two-Face a new beginning and Penguin a new thing entirely. It's kind of that blank canvas that hasn't been explored yet. And like I said in the last episode, that was the beauty of Telltale with all their stories, pretty much. I think even Guardians of the Gags or something, but I never finished that game and I don't think I'll ever get to do that game anymore because I don't own it anywhere, I don't think. So that's unfortunate. Anyway, that is it for episode 2 and uh, holy cow bombshells <laughs> as usual with these kind of games um, and uh, that's pretty much it so I'll see you all for episode 3 you guys know what to do follow subscribe ring the bell all that good stuff social media is down in the description of every video you guys know what to do peace out this is Simon Kios signing off I'll see you at episode 3 stay awesome